Hey everyone, all right, we're video number two of the ruptured pipes in the house. So the guy spent yesterday taking out the carpet and most of the drywall, but a lot of the day was spent vacuuming up water. It was just that deep and that much of it. All right, here we go. This cabinet still has to be taken out. We know there's a rupture behind this wall. This plywood is, it looks dry, but it's not. It is maxing out on my meter. So we're gonna take this floor up, that floor up, toilet out, everything. Get us down to the sub floor. Which brings me to another point. This is plywood. This isn't a normal sub floor system. When plywood gets wet, it likes to delaminate. And that means the layers will start spreading apart and literally the floor will just hump up suddenly. So we've decided, I talked with the guys, we're going to let it finish drying out as we finish our demo. And then when it's 100% dry, we'll take a look because sometimes your plywood's okay. But we won't know till it dries and, and let whatever happened happen. The best case scenario is you see the nails here. They're already beginning to rust. So we'll have to take screws, best case scenario, and screw down all of this plywood to make sure it's nice and secure and we don't get squeaks and stuff in the future. But again, it's a long shot. Plywood likes to buckle. We'll just leave it at that for now. Bedroom number one. This is where you saw the carpet in the last video. It's, again, you can see the wetness here. I've got pictures everywhere of meter test. That was the point of our rupture behind the bathroom. And if you look, this, this side of that board is nothing but red. This side is dry. So now our main concern comes back to the flooring. So we're going to take out this sub, this floor and its subfloor to get back down to the original subfloor take the cabinet out and stop at the tub and reevaluate and see what see if water's made it all the way under the tub and then we'll just have to evaluate from there this is the other bedroom there is a dive in the house and all the water went here and then poured down through the living room and you can see as i get closer you can see everything is testing in the red, but you can actually see the water, okay? Now, downstairs, bear with me. It still feels like a sauna in here, so the humidity is still really high. Okay, all the floors, we did tests and got pictures, all of them are in the red, so they're gonna stay, start taking up the floors today. So let's, we're trying to take out the big chunks to get this stuff dry as fast as we can. This is the back side of the kitchen. If you look at this window, right about here, that way, soaking wet, here, this way, dry. So they're gonna open up that case and see what it looks like. This is the back of the hall bath downstairs. You can see where the water's flowed. This drywall is the back of the cabinets. We're gonna move the dehumidifier and blast it right here Again, it's a long shot. We don't want to take out kitchen cabinets unless we have to. I think we will, but let's just see what happens since we're having to do this in steps anyway. Okay? Now, this is the hall bath. It has to be completely demoed. Everything's wet in there. You can see where the paint, that just comes off in big giant sheets. That usually the cause of this is primer wasn't used on the front side. Okay, so... This wall's wet, and as I move, you'll see why I'm concerned about the cabinets, because there's your cabinets. So we're going to finish opening that up and take out the insulation. Probably remove the backsplash, get some airflow. Hope for the best. Again, like the floors, probably going to, have to take them out, but I'm trying my best to save the customer everything I can. This is the island. You'll see that the bead board is already buckled. Quick pan around. You can see all of the cupping and the floors, all of this, I have pictures everywhere. All of this is, again, I can't give you a percentage because it is maxed out. 